To implement the simulation, I'll be using the data table from Excel. Uh, we can also use VBA to implement the Monte Carlo simulation, but uh, for simplicity, I will just use data table here. So first off, let's uh, put a simple label, so this is our simulation. And then uh, here, I will link this to the value that we want to simulate, which is the wealth at the end of 10 here after the distribution or the drawdown. And then, of course, uh, then we'll specify what are the simulation numbers. So, of course, we can start from 1, 2, and all the way to, let's say, 1,000, if you are intending to run 1,000 simulations. So, of course, uh, let's fill the number down to 1,000. So, I'll just click on Fill. A series will select column since I'm gonna generate the numbers downwards so the step value is 1 and then stop value is 1000 so it will generate the simulation numbers all the way up to 1000 so we're done with that so now let's generate the values for each simulation so I'll just highlight and then press control uh, shift control down and then click on data and then click on what if analysis and under data table Okay, uh, you will click on column input cell and just click on any empty cell that you, you are not going to use. Okay, let's say for example, I, I'm clicking on E2. Then I'll click OK. Then you generate all the figures for the simulation. So let's just set it to commas. Right, so for our simulation, I will only look at simulation 1 up to 1000. I will ignore the heading. So from this, we can then generate uh, statistics. So for example, we can find out what is the average, okay, what is the average uh, wealth at the end of the 10th year. So that's average function, and then we'll highlight this case here. Okay, so we can of course uh, put a name to this range, but I'll leave it um, as it is. And then we can calculate the volatility of the wealth value. So that we'll use uh, standard deviation, and then I'll use sample.s. And then I'll select the same range. And then we can also compute the different percentiles. So for example, we can calculate the 25th uh, percentile. So I'll use the percentile function. So there's percentile and then dot, exclus uh, dot exclusive. So I'll select that and then I'll select this range here. So for the 25th percentile, you enter comma and 0.25 uh, to indicate 25%. And then we have the 50th percentile and 75th percentile and let's say we include 95th percentile as well okay so these are all arbitrary you can select the points that you want to observe so i'll repeat so this percentile exclusive and then this will be the range and then this will be 0 0.5 and then in this case this will be for 75 percent 0 0.75 and then lastly, this would be percentile, and then this would be for comma 0 0.95. Alright, let's have a look at the numbers. So on the average, uh, after 1,000 trials, okay, we'll find that the average wealth will be about 1.195 million, and the volatility will be about $961,000. And then there's a 25% probability uh, from this trial, there's a 25% chance that the wealth level will be 493,000 and below. There's a 50% chance that the wealth will be 1.01 million and below. There's a 75% chance that the prob the wealth will be 1.74 million and below. And then there is a 95% chance that the wealth level will be 3 million or 3.1 million and below. Now, of course, this is looking at the percentage of the level and, uh, and below. But of course, you can also view it from the top percentile. For example, we can say that there is a 75% chance that the wealth level could be more than 493,000. And then here we can say that there is a 5% chance that the wealth level could be more than 3.071 million. Okay, so we can always look at it from a different view. Now, in this case, uh, the objective of the client is to determine what is the probability that she will be able to donate the amount that she has indicated, which is 1 million. Okay. So in this case, what is the probability that she is successful in terms of meeting her objective? So we'll do a bit of a count here. So I want to find out that out of these 1,000 trials, how many of it actually stated a wealth level of 1 million and above? Because that is the amount indicated by the client. So in this case, I'll do a count. Okay, I'll do a count if the range that we state here, the range from the 10,000, the 1,000 trials, 
Okay, let's move up. So this case for the this is the range that we're going to cal calculate or count. And then the criteria here is that the wealth level, let's open quote, so it's more than equals to, let's close the bracket, and then this is, uh, let's join this with a number, okay, this is upper M percent there, and then let's click on 1 million. So this is saying that we will count the number as 1, we'll count the number as long as it is e uh, equals to or more than 1 million dollars, right? So if I just, before I finish up, so let's say if I just press enter, so we see 524, it's not a probability yet so that means out of these 1000 simulations there is 524 observations where the wealth level is 1 million and above now if i want to convert this to a probability i will need to divide by the total number of observations which is 1000 so from the formula i will just do a small modification i'll just uh just go to the formula divide by the count of the observation so i'll just highlight the same thing so there will be 1000 so the probability will be 0 0.538 if you want to convert this to a percentage, just do so. So it's about 53.8%. So there is a 53.8% chance of a success here for the client to meet her objective. If I keep pressing F9, of course, it will keep recalculating the scenario. Now, of course, the value will keep changing when I recalculate because we only simulated, let's say, only for 1,000 trials. If I were to extend this to 100,000 trials, the value would then stabilize and would not change so often or maybe it will remain at a constant number okay but of course if i run more simulations then it will take a longer time to process so of course uh, these are just some of the examples of uh, things that we can simulate okay you can even generate histograms from uh, this particular uh, scenario or this uh, simulation run of course there's a small typo here be successful yeah right so that's that's the how multicolor simulation can be implemented okay for wealth planning for a client okay or for anyone that's uh, that wants to manage their wealth now of course uh, there are other modifications that can be done we can use vba okay uh, then if the client has a different uh, investment horizon we can extend beyond it okay if the donation amount is different then we can also change this so if somehow we found if the client is uncomfortable with such a low probability then and she insists that the donation is a primary objective for her then we could suggest a few things like maybe she could re actually uh, reduce her drawdown every year okay or maybe she may have to take a higher risk in her portfolio in order to increase the wealth level uh, we can even ask her to contribute more every year if she has any uh, other income from this multicolor simulation it helps us to assess the risk of the clients okay and then from there we can uh, make further suggestions to see if the client is currently on the way to meet her objective or are there changes that needs to be made to their circumstances